What's the definition of a dream ride? It's a bike that, for me, inspired you, that you always wanted to hold, wanted to own. It might be a special bike, or it might be a bike that influenced you massively in your life. If these fuel tanks are anything to go by, you should have a pretty good idea of what we're gonna ride this week. It's a bike that probably influenced my early years of riding more than anything else. It's Yamaha's legendary RD350 LC. So why was that such a big influence on me? Well, our environments, the people around us have a huge effect on us growing up. And as a kid, my parents, my grandparents, uncles, aunties, the whole of our family and extended family was into motorcycles. And around all of that, my dad had these photos on the mantelpiece of when he raced before I was born, back in the early 80s. The bike he raced, an RD350 LC. So for me, that bike has always been up on a pedestal. It's, that's the bike my dad raced. This dream ride is kind of my dad's dream ride, but it's a really special one because it's something that has been with me for my whole motorcycling career. So the legendary RD350 LC, James, oh, what a bike amazing bike i mean 17 years old let's set the scene you're 17 years no, old no i'm not yeah you live in the absolute dream you've you've got your paddock jacket on your stonewashed jeans your reebok classic you've got your girlfriend on the back and you're pulling wheelies through the estate i mean this is what it's all about the 250s you could the licenses was like more relaxed then so you could actually ride a 250 when you were 17 on a learner on a length that would not have been a good idea <laughs> yeah. and then just to top it off a lot of people what they did they uh, put a 350 barrel on i mean this is a 350 but the 250s were more desirable in the day than the 350s because the 250s you could buy and they were registered as a 250 but you could put a 350 barrel on so you got all that power and if you ever got a pull the police would never know and it's one of those things that, you know, we talk about the power on these. We're often quite disappointed, aren't we, with modern... That's right, yeah. With the access to modern bikes, and then you say, like, RC30 Honda. Oh, it's not got <laughs> actually that much horsepower. But, but this thing, despite being 43 years old, 50 brakes, yeah, nearly, yeah, nearly 50 horsepower. Yeah, 32 and a half for the 250s yeah. and uh, 50 brake horsepower for the 350s. I mean, absolutely awesome to ride. They even, really are, especially even the allowing, wide power band. Yeah, yeah, even allowing for a bit of brochure brochure brand yeah, yeah, and exactly. inaccuracy that's a decent <laughs> amount of power on something that's 154 kilos really, dry yeah and they handle fantastic as well i mean really sticky tires and pinpoint precision handling and great fun i mean these put a right smile on your face the only thing i would say is they don't particularly stop <laughs> that well <laughs> even with the twin disc which you got on the 350s not like the 250s with the single disc but they don't stop that particularly well no um but yeah i mean such a cool iconic bike yeah, it is. I say I can remember growing up with pictures of, of my dad racing them. Mm. He raced them back in the eighties. We had pictures of I think his one was he had a blue and white one, and then a red and white one after. RD meaning race developed. Uh, LC obviously meaning liquid cooled. It says race developed, but to us now they don't look <laughs> at all like a race bike. It just they look, sound good. On, they sound on, good. on song, they sound absolutely awesome. And, Obviously, the smoke and the two-stroke smell and everything else, it's, uh, it's a, an, an amazing winning combo, and I think that's why they did so well and sold so many of them. Proper two-stroke legends, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the, uh, there's a lot on, on the road where they're not quite right. They might have all different various in prices, but a lot of new old stock parts are really fetching the money now to, for these to be in concourse restored. Matching engine and frame numbers are a big thing on these. Original exhaust, original tanks, you can get copies for everything, but new old stock parts really command much more in value on these bikes. That bit more special. Mm. Now, James, this is killing me. Yeah. As you well know, I actually can't ride these today, I, can I, I? I'm gutted for you that you're not riding this. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done a boo-boo. I've hurt my shoulder, um, so I'm out for the next Basically, weeks. he's run out of talent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurting enough. Which doesn't don't, happen very often. I've done my ribs as well. <laughs> Stop it. So I have actually got us a standing rider, and I think it's probably the best person for the job. Oh, absolutely. Are you going to introduce the legend? We're going to go over and speak to the one and only Dave Northover. It's my dad. <laughs> dad. Well, not that dad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remembered. <laughs> Thank you very much for stepping in. Well, thank you for asking me. <laughs> it's not a bad job, is it? That's what fathers do, isn't it? Step in, help their sons. <laughs> now look, obviously you've got a hell of a history of LCs. It's your fault that I'm in the mess I'm in now, but Sorry. what made you race an LC back in the 80s? It was a production class, cheek to enter and very popular. Um, some people would even ride into the track, tape up the headlights and the indicators, race all day, and off they go, ride home at the end of it. Unless they wrecked it. 
analyst head rating. Well, I'm insanely jealous that you're getting to play on this today, but I'm also kind of excited to see you out on it. It'd be great, great to get back on one and uh, see what they're like. Been a long time since I've ridden anything that's two stroke. So nearly all, everything's four stroke these days. And so in a fantastic, it's good to have a sunlight, Chris. Gives you a little treat now and again. And what a treat. I might be feeling 17 at the moment, but I'm sure this evening when I sit down to rest, I'll be feeling my age. But for now, I'm just enjoying feeling 17 again. It's absolutely killing me being, being out of the riding seat today, but it's a mega opportunity for me to see a proper cool classic bike, and listen and hear and feel it coming past on the road. And just to see the grin on my old man's face as he rekindles a 40 year old race bike interest. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Just like it's been 40 years ago, except yeah. I'm on the road, not the trash. <laughs> yeah, because you never rode one on the road, did you? No, not officially. No. <laughs> not officially. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, sometimes you need some testing before racing, as you probably know. <laughs> <laughs> what's the one thing that you remember that it really brings back, and what's the one thing that you don't remember being that bad? Um, I love the, the smell, the smell. As soon as I started up this morning, it was just reminding me of being on the track, that two stroke smell, which obviously you don't get very often these days. Go on, what was the worst thing then? The worst thing with the brakes. I'd forgotten that they're not like modern brakes at all, are they? <laughs> <laughs> Did they seem that bad at the time or is no, it just something no, that's moved on? No, no, at the time they seemed good. Twin discs, you know, what more could you want? But compared to today's brakes, they're not good. Turns out, yeah. Brembo monoblocks and ABS <laughs> is what more you could want. Exactly, yeah. Well, thanks Chris and uh, James for the loan of this lovely bike. Perhaps I should just go the other way and not return it? Hmm. These videos, these opportunities only come around because of help from people like the bike specialist and support from people like our sponsors, Bmoto. They do specialist insurance, they do regular insurance, they do multi-bike policies. We've been here buzzing around on some ridiculously clean RD350 LCs today. That's the sort of thing that Bmoto are perfect for if you want to insure it. They're not just going to treat you like someone insuring a weird old Yamaha. They'll know what a 350 LC is. They'll be able to give you a proper agreed value on it so you'll actually get an insured bike that's going to be supported properly if anything bad does happen, which we hope it doesn't. But it's always good to have that peace of mind. Every time I've phoned Bmoto, long before the sponsorship started, it ended up being a half hour conversation talking about motorbikes. So it's a refreshingly different approach to an insurance company and well worth a call for your next renewal. Now, despite the fact that I have been grizzling about not being able to ride all day, it was actually awesome to sit at the side of the road and watch you ride this thing. Dad, I mean, 40 years since you last rode one. What was it like? Oh, fantastic, uh, unbelievable, better than I remember apart from the brakes, <laughs> but, but, um, but they do work. But yeah, much, much, much better than I remember. And to ride it around these lovely roads and perfect conditions, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I feel like you need to come back in the snow and the cold. And... <laughs> no, 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 there's only certain days I'll stand in for you. <laughs> Today to ride it on the road, is, it's just brilliant. I mean, why, why wouldn't you want one? Um, not the fastest thing in the world, but you can go slower and still enjoy it. It seems like you're going fast. You think yeah. you're doing 100, but you're not. It's, You're doing 50. <laughs> it sounded like a few times when you were doing those fast passes, we'd hear you come in and go, rap, rap, and we're like, oh, here he comes, here he comes, and you go, eh. mm, He's on his way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just sounded quick, obviously. Yeah. It's still only a 50 horsepower bike. Even when we sat in the lights going through the town, you're sitting there and it's revving away and you ring, ring, oh, it just sounds lovely and you know you miss that on the road downs you don't get two strokes no. every day do you but, but no and then when you start revving it hard it really really just pulls and pulls it's really nice really obviously you said like the chassis even by today's standards obviously it's not a modern bike but it's still pretty fun to ride in the corners too yeah yeah i mean i don't push them as hard as hard as you or even as probably as hard as i used to but Perfect, absolutely lovely. Just round those twisty bends, perfect lines, you know, no shaking or anything. Just lovely, lovely to ride. Can yeah. we go again? Can we go again? <laughs> See, this, what's really good about this is this is a big change of tone from my dad. I, as you know, I love old junk, as you call mm. it. Like, I've got so many old knackered bikes and I always love going out of them. And I've been trying to coax you into getting some old bikes and coming riding and you keep telling me that modern bikes are so good, why would you want to? Has, has this changed your mind a little bit? Yes, it has, yeah. Has it? Modern bikes are very yes. good. You push the button and away they go. But 
to ride something like this round all day, which has been faultless all day. Has, Fantastic. Yeah. Um, that's you know sentiment to whoever rebuilt it. Yeah, definitely. I'd be interested in buying an older machine and going on a silly ride with you somewhere. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Pair of LCs will take them. But yeah, it's a, yeah. yeah we, we, we're fortunate that we get to ride both ends of the spectrum. But there's something about today's ride on a would have been a nice ride on nice roads on yeah. a modern bike. On an old bike, there's something about it that's just a bit more special. Yeah. Maybe it's the relief that you make it back home again, <laughs> usually on my bike. This bike had a massive impact on me because although you never had one all the time I've been alive, there was always that photo on the mantelpiece. Yeah. There was always that photo on the hallway stairs like of you racing an LC350. So even though I've never, never touched one, never started one, never sat on one, I feel like that bike's always been in the back of my mind as that's the bike my daddy raced. And then, you know, that's probably what inspired me to go racing myself. So it's got a lot, a lot to answer <laughs> lot to for. Watch. But you've got some old photos and I stuff, I have got some you? photos, yeah. And, and an old set of race levers. Please don't ask me to try those on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check them out. Hang on. Here we go. The <laughs> lovely I mean, leathers. <laughs> what the hell are those? Well, you raced in them? I did race in them, yeah. But Why do they say Honda on them, Dad? Because we happen to have a very friendly Honda dealer. Was that Doble's, was it? It was, yes. No way. <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. So, but uh, honestly, though, like, that is, there's no armour. No. There's, so, there's no back protector. No. They're so flimsy. Oh, it was dangerous in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me. Was this what you were wearing when you crashed at Corum's? Yeah. yeah. That was a big high side in these. A big crash, yeah. yeah. No but, wonder you broke your ribs. Yeah. Well, there's no protection at all. Is it? it's, no. All right, yeah. let's have a look at these pictures. I've seen these before, but... I mean, I mean, you're going to love these. <laughs> look at that. I hadn't seen that one before. That is your road race license from that December 1983. Look at that. So that's your ACU license. ACU license, signatures on the back. Oh, look, there's another one, 84 as well. Yeah. It's minging, it was wet. Yeah. Oh, How yeah. big are those gloves? <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like gardening gloves, Dad? I like the fact that I've got number one on it. I was going <laughs> How come you've got number one plate? Well, you just lucky dip in those days. Oh really? <laughs> you just pick your number board out of you a just hat? Pick your number board, yeah. Same with grip positions. Just put your hand in a bag and pull it out. Well, I, yeah, I don't really know what more to say. We're just wandering off down memory lane here. Despite the fact I haven't been able to ride a bike, this has probably been my favourite dream ride so far. To see you riding an LC again. Well, to see you riding an LC not in a photograph yeah. was real special. I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing that you got a little bit of the classic bike love back yeah. after stubbornly avoiding them <laughs> for so many years so. look if you want to see us ride a particular bike get in touch give us a shout at bike world it'd be lovely to hear your thoughts but yeah if you ever get the opportunity to put your dad back on the bikes he raced as a kid do it it has been an awesome day massive thank you to the guys at the bike specialist for another really really special day out